WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up one finish up 27 nasdaq down 142 s and is off 13 gold gold contract up 16 dollars 90 cents trading at 18.25 an ounce you get silver up 64 cents 21 dollars 64 cents an ounce light sweet crude up 347 113 dollars 97 cents a barrel notes and bonds the 10-year note up 15 ticks trading 119.20 the 30-year up 18 ticks at 139.21 and king dollar king dollar down 328 ticks, trading at 104,235. Euro 104, yen 129, the British pound 123 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the SP. What you're going to see out here, folks, is that you got over the high, you closed underneath it, and you had a contraction of volume. That's a true failure, okay? What we did out here today in the spy, you hit 403.97. The high of Friday was 403.38. Friday's bounce had light volume, 104 million. Well, check it out. Today, it only could do 73 million. That's a total failure. So it's going to try to get down to the lows again, once again. Now, we have divergence, and this is what the divergence is. The Qs pulled back on lighter volume because it didn't get over the high. So that's a positive. So you get the bull, the bear inside the marketplace, and that's pure divergence. And so what the Qs did is this. They had a high of 302.26. Well, the high of Friday was 302.99. So this is a pullback with lighter volume on the queues. So the queues are going to have a shot. That's how this works. So when you, when you get both of them, one says one, one says the other, guess what? You're going to wait it out, man. That's, that's how this shakes out. Gold. Gold performed. Gold hit your ABC structure on the way down. We had the price projection of 17.88. We hit 17.85. You did reject it. You rejected it with lighter volume, and it took off like a rocket ship. That's telling me that as we get over to the dollar, that we very well may see this dollar fail. And, you know, the dollar had a nice breakout last week, and it may be a one-day wonder, a uh, one-week wonder uh, in this particular case, you know, because we're talking about the dollar would have to get back under 103.747. And right now, we are approximately... Uh, 500 ticks above it so we'll see what all shakes out have a great night folks have a safe night come back and visit tommy tomorrow morning kicks us off nine o'clock in the morning great show folks have a great one have a safe one